Hey YouTube, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. Now, today is an update video about who? About Cardi B, okay? So, if you got an issue with me making videos about Cardi B, you probably shouldn't watch this video. You can leave a comment down below though. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So, this video is about Cardi. Uh, what has happened since my last video, her canceling concerts, it's the most, child. But we're about to get into it and go in on it because you already know how I do and we all know how I feel about Connie B. Anywho, please don't forget to like this video. Like it now, like it later, like it even if you hate it, boo. Just like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jovi Beauty, on all platforms. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and everything else. I am Jovi Beauty on all platforms. Okay? Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you know whenever I drop a video, especially y'all haters, you want to know when I drop a Cardi video? Hit that notification, subscribe to the channel, and as always, let's get on with the video, boo. <laughs> the other day and while I was uploading the video more news on Cardi B was hitting the fan it's just Cardi needs so much attention this sh don't even make sense let's start with the good news well good publicity good news whatever let's start with it so Cardi is apparently doing a one-on-one -on -one interview with Bernie Sanders okay I voted for Bernie in the primaries last election I am a voter please get your butts up out there and vote I am not just a voter I work at the poll sites for every election it is important okay it is important who we elect into our offices not just federal but state city county all of that okay so please do your part all right do your part anyway cardi trying to do her part aka also trying to get publicity i'm not even gonna knock cardi for this because this is a good move i don't know yet who i'm voting who i'm going to vote for in the primaries okay i think we got some time but um I don't know if Bernie got my vote this year. I don't know. But we'll see when Cardi start asking him questions. What? Because I'm going to watch it. You know, what he says. And what I think about Bernie now. But Bernie was a good option four years ago. I'm not too sure if Bernie's a great option now. But we will see. We just got to get the, the, the orange man out of the White House. But we need to make sure he gets out of the White House. And being replaced with someone who's actually going to do something like for us okay for us that would be dope do something for us you know well, you know it's for us you know yeah that would be dope anyway so cardi is supposedly meeting with bernie the republicans are very mad at it i don't understand because honestly cardi be angry at bloggers bloggers touch cardi in the heart for no reason at all because she's a celebrity she's supposed to have thicker skin these republicans are savages i'm just gonna say these savages okay they do the most okay they shoot up churches they do the most they are wild all right and they will say anything boy so i don't know how she's gonna do being in the limelight in politics plus i also don't think that cardi is that intelligent but hey i guess a lot of people in this country are not really that intelligent that's how we got trump supporters anyway so a lot of people aren't really that intelligent so i guess she can always you know connect with certain people on their levels and try to explain things to them you know so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens that's enough with that i think or oh, this may go into the next story i don't know cardi canceled another freaking concert child we already know she ain't on tour she on them festivals child festivals and whatnot whatever i keep telling y'all 
Cardi ain't supposed to be on no freaking festivals and whatnot. But y'all want to continue telling me that Cardi's on a mini festival tour. Somebody told me that in the comments. I get a lot of Cardi backlash. It's funny. Go ahead, Car go ahead, Barty gang. Anyway, she allegedly, according to her supporters, are, uh, are is on a mini festival tour. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, she was in Indianapolis the other day. So rumor is, there's a couple rumors, all right? So we'll get into the rumors. So she ended up canceling the concert like a half an hour or so before it was supposed to start. Now, you know how pe people are driving from far away to get here, you know, and you go cancel the concert. She gets on live before we even go, you know, she basically sends a message saying that, you know, it's a security threat and she don't want to put herself or her people at harm. Okay, I don't know if that was a play because of the whole Republican thing, but I don't believe her. There is also um, speculation out there and reports that there's a video of Offset cheating, okay, that she saw right before she went out there. And she couldn't perform because, again, that's her husband. And she probably saw her husband doing something with some Latina, allegedly, child. And she was feeling away and in her feelings and emotional. I lean more towards that. I really, honestly, leans more towards that. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, even though Republicans are crazy, bad shit, all of that, all right? Even with all of that, let me tell you why. Because... The Indianapolis police, okay, so the venue didn't announce anything like, you know, please evacuate, please evacuate. It was just the thing is canceled. If there are bombs, if there are threats like bombs or somebody coming in with a freaking AK or something, they're evacuating. They're not canceling. They're evacuating. That's number one. Okay, number two... Um, there are reports that she didn't get paid what she needed to get paid from the, from the promoter, so that's why she canceled the concert. I believe that that might be true as well. You know, between Offset and not getting that money, she was very upset and, in my opinion, canceled the concert. So, also, they're saying, um, the Indianapolis police now, mind you, the police are basically saying they got the report from... Cardi and them, right? Wouldn't the police know if it was some sort of crazy Republican? How is Cardi and them and her security man gonna know? So then Cardi went on the IG again, cause you know she always on the IG, and I know she blocked me, so I'm not supposed to know. But the way my supporters are set up, I know. Anyway, shout out to my shout out to my subs. Anyway. So Cardi went up on her IG explaining to us what happened and that her security man came in and it was a security threat and she only been rich for about two years and she don't want to die. Honestly, I don't believe her. She didn't, she wasn't looking at the camera. The way she was speaking, the way she was, her whole everything. Normally Cardi is like this. Cardi is talking at the camera. She looking you in the eye over the net. You know what I'm saying? She be looking at the camera. She was looking every which way. She sound like she was lying, number one. And she looked like she was lying. She couldn't look at us, y'all. She was looking every which way but at the camera. And she gave us that half-ass excuse. And I believe it's a half-ass half -ass excuse. I do not believe it one so one so one bit so ever. I do not think that nobody called in no threat or tweeted in no threat or did any of that. I don't. I don't believe it. Okay? Now, if I'm wrong, my bad. But I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. I'm going along with the fact that because there are other media outlets, other bloggers reporting that there is someone shopping around a video of Offset and some Latina girl who he was having intercourse with. I'm going with that because that is more Cardi's lane. And this exactly is why Cardi can't get a tour, okay? This is why nobody wants to give her a tour because she gets emotional and she falls the frick apart. And, you know, she cancels. It's like, it's like she works at McDonald's and keeps canceling her shifts. Like, if she, if she was canceling... At her shifts working at McDonald's, she'd be fired already. So why do you think that like a tour company would be willing to even invest in her? Like, bro, you're out of your mind. That's why she's doing festivals and whatnot. Anyway, 
I'm done. That's how I feel. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Not sorry. I'm not really sorry. And uh, yeah, so for everyone who loves me that I love, I hope you live your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it.